Um, first question, I wanted to ask you about uh, what do you think about your team's mental strength tonight? 3-0 down and Antonio Conte is a new manager. The players may have been feeling that tonight was a script. Maybe it was inevitable that you were going to lose at that point. Um, and yet, what a battling performance to come back into the game. What can you tell us about your team's mental strength in this situation? Yeah, absolutely. I think it was from the mental side, it was really a, a strong performance. And, and what I liked more, we spoke often uh, before this match um, about, the, about the plan, that we, that we always have to stick to our plan because always when we do it like this and when everybody believes in that, then we are successful. And this happened today. And then they saw, okay, after the, we have to be honest, the 1-3 the was important. If this goal is, not, uh, if we didn't make this goal, then it can go in another direction. But uh, then the way we came back, again, in this stadium with a lot of supporters, um, uh, this makes me really proud. And uh, this is also not a, not a normal thing to come here back like this and also to believe in the, in the point, in the minimum, the point to, to go home with one point. Sure. It's also not a normal thing for a medium-sized Dutch club such as Vitesse to be doing so well in Europe. So can I ask, what has you been into your secret to get a Dutch club this far through the qualifiers and on the brink of possibly qualifying um, past the winter into the spring in Europe? What have you? What exactly have you done with this with this side? Yeah, I think we we um, how can I say we have clear principles how we want to play. And, and for us, it's important. It doesn't matter if we play against the team in the league on a lower position or if we play here at the sports. We want to stick to, to our principles, how we want to play. And, and today it was clear. We, we want to press the opponent high. So any op opponent all over the world, if you, if you make a lot of pressure to them with clear principles and everybody knows exactly what to do, then you have a chance to, to force uh, mistakes or errors from them. And, and this we, we decided at the end. When we look at the second goal, this is the risk in this kind of football. If you have then a quality player like uh, Harry Kane on the pitch um, to, to lose one duel and then it can be dangerous. But I think it's important to have a clear philosophy how you want to play. And, and this we, we work on now uh, one and a half year. And at the end, the result is that we can sit here and can be proud of our team, what we, uh, what we did in this evening. Oh, good for now, Michael. Or do you want the last question? Yes, do you want please. the last one? Or? Yes. Yeah, one last question, please. Um, what were your thoughts, Thomas, on the red card from Yeah, I was really angry about the red card because I saw the linesman standing exactly in front of the situation and the linesman uh, made, uh, he showed, hey, his arms were like that, so it was no hand. And therefore, I was uh, surprised on the one hand that he uh, took the, uh, that he showed him the, the red card. On the other hand, I think it was not the right decision. But this is also the problem. In the Conference League, uh, you have no far, so we have to accept this. And the only, yeah, the only thing we can change, we have to play next year in the Champions League. Then we have a far, but this is only a joke. Hopefully, you understand. So Thank cut you. it out of your records, please. It's a nice one to close it off. Um, Matus Bero is already waiting. So Thomas, uh, thank you, and thank you for the questions to Thomas Lech. Um, have a nice Shukin. evening. Bye bye. Thank you. Hi, Matus. Um, I just wanted to ask, first of all, what were you thinking when you were 3-0 down? Um, and, you know, you've got Conte as a manager, uh, as Spurs manager, just come in. I just asked Thomas Lech about the mental strength of the side. What, what did you make of it? Uh, it was, uh, like you said, when you are 3-0 down, it's uh, it's never an, an easy feeling. But uh, when you consider the goal, I was like, OK, we had some chances and we have still a chance to come back to the game. So. So I'm always the type of the player. It doesn't matter what's the result. I I always go for it and I always believe. So, so yeah, you are three 0 down against Tottenham, and maybe nobody expects that you can come to three two. And uh, that's that's really amazing in football right now that everything can change in in ten minutes and the game can be still open. And you've had a taste against um, English opposition this evening. What does that say to you, perhaps going forward? Is that something you want to do more often? Yeah, of course. I I'm. Uh, Always, when I was a small boy, it was my dream to play in England one day. So I'm really happy that I have the experience to play against such a big team like Tottenham is. And uh, I have all respect to the whole club and uh, all people here. And yeah, I enjoyed and I, 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 I saw how, how, which level I am right now. And uh, yeah, uh, I, I am happy with my performance today. So you said you're happy with your performance today. Does that mean that you're close to reaching that kind of level um, with the Tets? Today it was a game where I show who I am and how I can play and uh, 
I'm really happy to be where I am now and I am proud that I can be still player of Vitesse and uh, I always do my best. So what's happened in future, like I said, the dream for me is a Premier League and uh, yeah, I'm still here and until I will be here, I will always fight for my club. doesn't matter where I will play.